comic book fans. It is Sunday night. Uh, Steelers won the first game today. Go Steelers. But that's not what I'm here about. Bruce Wayne. Murderer? Trade paperback. I did a haul video on this a few days ago. And I needed to finish my horror comics trades before I got this. And it took me about two days to get through this at work. So let's get into it. So, <coughs> excuse me. Starts out with uh, someone narrating. Doing the typical recap. Sort of like the, all, all the Batman movies. They have to go into his uh, origin again and again and again and again and again and again. But fine. Okay. Then we have, uh, what is her name? Thoreau or something like that. She is her bodyguard. I've never heard of this woman before. She is Bruce Wayne's bodyguard. And she goes out and... Uh, also patrols with Batman, so she knows who he is. And they're out on a patrol one night, and uh, they get separated because he has to take care of one thing, she has to take care of another thing. He is back in the Batcave, showered, and at the computer before she gets back. They go upstairs and find... A woman by the name of Vesper lying dead on the floor in Wayne Manor. Of course, they call the cops, or the cops show up. He is getting charged with first degree murder and attempted rape. She is getting charged with conspiracy. Right, we know they didn't do it, but what, you know, what are they going to say, right? Yeah, it wasn't me because I was out there patrolling as Batman and Sue's with me. She's out there patrolling as my sidekick. We're kicking everyone's ass. Just, you know, check this out. So, and there's always mounting evidence. There's a, uh, a phone call from the lady saying, you know, help, 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 yada, yada, yada. There's a gun that they find that turns out there was actually pur purchased by Batman and Bruce is just saying he is not uh, being cooperative. It's like, no, no, because all the family is sitting there saying we need to prove your innocence. And not only not, not only is he not providing a good defense to the cops because he can't, uh, but he's not allowing Oracle and Cassandra, uh, the, the Batgirl, uh, not Cassandra Kane, but the other one, and everyone else, Dick Grayson, to provide, he's not helping them provide a, uh, an alibi. So things are getting pretty bad here. This book covers the arrest, the preliminary hearing, and the sentencing. They Not the sentencing, but uh, they plead not guilty, and they both get stuck in jail because Bruce Wayne is considered a flight risk. He's a billionaire, and he can just sit there and go, I'm out, right? And then he basically... escapes and all this time you have the bat family trying to investigate what happened without any help of somebody who might know what's going to have some insight as to what was going on this is a really good book 
you know, I'm... It's getting to the point now where I am just starting to get the older stuff. I'm getting trades and stuff like this. Because the stories back then were good. You know, it's... You've got Nightfall. You've got this. And then you have Fugitive, which I'm reading... I have at work right now. I, I'm going to finish reading that probably tomorrow. Uh, Non-political, non, you know, not a huge event every three days and stuff. These are just fun stories where you have, you know, a mystery. You have everything that's going on. And... This book right here, I'm going to give it a 4.25 out of 5 because it moves quick. It jumps from point to point, you know, jumps over stuff that could just be dragging on. And it flows well. It's written well. The art is... That's one of the weird things because it changes through the book because it's different. It's different books, different creative teams. So the art is going to change a bit in each issue. But it really doesn't take away from the story. So like I said, 4.25 out of 5. I recommend you getting this book if you're a Batman fan, a fan of detective work in, in Batman, despite the fact that this issue doesn't really have Batman doing any detective work. It's the family doing it. It's Oracle, it's Nightwing, it's uh, some, the, uh, some of the other people. And uh, got it. Read it. Enjoy it. <laughs>